Here's a GT2871R that we did an upgrade on. Now, Force Performance did get a hold of this turbo before us. So what they did for the upgrade was they did a 71 HDA compressor wheel, which I haven't measured that, but it's probably the same as a GT30R. So what we did with it was we converted it from the 2871 turbine wheel to the 3071 turbine wheel, which is going from 47 millimeter by 53.8 to a 55 by 60 turbine wheel, which is the same as the GT30R and the GT3076, GT3071R series. So to give you an idea why we did this was because the GT2860 and 2871 turbine wheel limits the amount of power that you can make out of this turbo. So when we went to the larger turbine wheel, it allows for the, the car to make power all the way to red line rather than choking up at higher RPM. The way you notice this problem is that you'll make a whole lot of torque and a whole lot of horsepower at lower RPM, but when you get to about 5500 RPM or higher, you'll start to feel the car slow down. The reason why it does that is because the engine is trying to outflow what the turbo can possibly flow through the exhaust system. So the way to get around that is to upgrade the turbine wheel and machine the turbine housing out to accommodate the larger turbine wheel. This is a service that we offer, so if you need this service done, we can do it for you. The way that we do this is I use a fueler gauge to check the clearance behind the turbine wheel, and this will help me determine how much clearance is behind needs to be behind the heat shield and Knowing that, I know that there's supposed to be 20 thousandths between the wheel and the turbine housing, so that will total out to 20 thousandths plus the 31 thousandths that's behind the heat shield. Once all the machine work is done, I can double check my tolerances from the inside to make sure everything looks like it's supposed to. There are also replacement turbine housings available on the market where you can fix or replace one that's already been cracked. In this case, my customer just wanted me to machine the original. Also, the turbine housings that are available for sale do come already machined to different turbine wheels, so you can buy it already machined for this turbine wheel. We do sell the turbine wheel upgrade for this turbo, so I will link to that in the description box in case you need that shaft. Keep in mind that these turbine housings come in a .86 AR and a .64 AR. I would recommend the .86 turbine housing just because it's the larger one and it'll help you give you the ability to make more horsepower. With this larger turbine wheel upgrade, you can expect to make 50 to an extra 100 horsepower more. If you need a build like this done, you can always contact us at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.com.